We are going live with the B, the, sh- the show Hi, and swill, Nick. our surprise show and swill. Hi, Greg. Surprise! Hi. Surprise! Swill. Surprise show and surprise, swill. Hopefully people are watching the right video because I already posted the BA 101 for this week. Oh, look who we got here tonight. We have another person joining us because he can. Hi, Dan. Hey. Oh, my God. We are going to do a surprise <laughs> show and swill April edition because we had Lady Lee and Dan, who otherwise couldn't get the other beer show up and Kerry dropped his can of the beer we were going to do and blew up in him's face and all this. Let's move on. We are here tonight with a selection of just bring something. Here tonight. Uh, night. Tonight. Whoa. <laughs> all right. So uh, first uh, and foremost, let's uh, start off with uh, the fuzz. Who's grooving. I'm uh, I tell him How's to going? his day job, but no, well, that was <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! I'm sorry. All you're right, the one, you're the one that made the joke. Yeah, I know. He's not uh, sorry at all. First off, first off, how are you doing tonight? Doing okay. I got. I'm just coming out. I'm just coming off a cold. Ew. Yeah, not so fun. Okay. I was in bed for three days, mm-hmm. and then I gave it to. Again, I gave it to my child. Great dad. Because it, it's called caring. Caring is caring. All right. So uh, she, uh, well, she 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 uh, she says. Daddy, I caught your cold. I'm like, how do you think you caught my cold? Did you wash your hands? No, we held hands and then I caught it. <laughs> well, she's That's right, so you know. Cute. Yeah, oh, she's, she's pretty smart. She's only four. She's adorable. Yeah, oh yeah, she is. Uh, what was your question, Nick? I was going to ask you what you uh, got for a beer. Today I'm bringing Collective Arts Lager. Collective Lager. Oh. Uh, Makes sense for Lager Boy. Makes yeah. sense for Lager Bay. Boy, <laughs> one part craft beer, one part canvas. Are they saying the Lager is the canvas? Uh, collective Arts is a fusion of creativity featuring the talents of emerging artists from around the world. Uh, this one is from Italy, I guess. The can art's from Italy. <gasps> the Lager anyway, I, uh, I figured... Uh, uh, I'm a I'm a sponsor of Greg, so I might as well get a Collective Arts beer. And then I was like, hmm. And then I'll say, uh, but I'm I got to stay true to my roots. Big out lager. So Collective Arts lager mesh together, just like a Greg and Scott sandwich. Oh, there we go. I guess. All right. Thank you, Scott. Let's uh, turn it over to Greg, which we. <laughs> already have been introduced to tonight but uh we'll just talk to him anyway hi greg hi nick how are you I'm right now, although although professor McEwen isn't here can i give you some vaccine facts nick that are totally real and uh, <laughs> can, we, can we take it as me, as medical facts mute them mute them mute 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 vaccine and, uh, misinformation <laughs> so. all right greg what did you bring for a beer tonight well i'm gonna give you guys a choice so this is gonna be a beer that you guys might want to have me drink just because it might be awful. And then another one, well, that has titties on the can. So number awful, one. Awful, awful, awful. So this is from Market Brewing. It is called Bingo. And it's, I don't know, it's it's Canada's only licensed brewery bingo hall. So I don't know, a bingo hall made a beer. So it's, what? it's probably like, going to taste like old cigarette butts. Yeah, I don't even know what style it is. And, oh, it's like it's, it's like an old lady perfume. It's like it's a cold pale ale. So they they've, they're already exotic with their cold. They didn't just make a regular pale ale. It's cold. So uh, it's cold pale. Ale. Did they did they did they put cold into the can? They must. Have. I I would assume it's infused with cold. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm hoping they infuse my can with what's on the can because that would be but, amazing. And then the other option is we can do. Queen of the Night Dark Wheat Beer. Yes, that, that one. has uh, bre- breasticles on it. All right. Well, I think I think we have some different votes. So, Nick, what is your vote? I have the bingo one. Bingo, Scott. Bingo. Lady Lee, we know you picked one. this one. Dan. And bingo was his name. Oh, all oh, right. oh, you fuck off. <laughs> I got a great smoke. He's still gonna. He's still gonna drink that one. Don't get me wrong. Don't worry. worry. He's he's gonna drink both. Come on. Yeah, Yeah, I'm gonna drink both. I wanted that one to get like rated. You can rate both. (laughs) 
Why yeah. not? It's a show. Okay. Attempt. You, you think I'm a man? You think I'm a man who's incapable of satisfying two at the same time? Yeah. I'm I mean, is tonight. Mr. Lee here to help us adhere to the rules strictly? I'm a I'm a beer, um, a one beer person tonight. Wow. That's nice of you to be so loyal. Oh, yeah. All right, so uh, let's move on to the Lady of the Lee here tonight and uh, say hi, Lee. How you doing? Hello. I am fantastic. How are you? Awesome. I'm not too bad. That is good. That is good. Um, okay, so my beer tonight, I picked it because of the name. Um, and I kind of want it to be infused with what they say it is. So I found the Winter Wizard. And it's a magical IPA, so I really. It's do infused hope... by wizards. No, I really do hope it's infused by magic. Oh. Because it's a magical think... IPA. I would and think they would have stuffed wizards in there or something. It says that it tastes magical, juicy, and winter spirit. Ooh. So I yeah. hope that it's just infused with magic, and winter spirit. <sighs> All right. That sounds uh, interesting. There's my Before wizard. You, I was trying to find. I was very excited because I really wanted to do this one because I, I thought the name was ridiculous and I'm like, oh my god, this is probably an old can. It's Winter Wizard, and we're getting into spring, ish. Oh, um, and it's it? not as bad as I thought it was. It's January eighth or January, yeah, January eighth, which really isn't bad considering usually everything's like four months old anyway. Still, so. it's still almost four months old. Yeah, I guess. All right. Uh, thank you, Lady Lee. Let's go over to Dan, who's uh, surprisingly close to on time tonight. How are you doing? Good. Well, you're you're short, you're starting the thing late. Yeah, so we I mean, started a little late because we changed things up. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. At least we got, we, we got Paul in the chat. Uh, at least uh, we'll talk to him in a moment here. Hi, Paul. So, so what I brought tonight, I thought of all of you because I really care. Even me, and Dan. Do you really even care? you? Oh, so I I I brought the Moo Cow IPA from Superflux. <laughs> okay. Then. Oh my. This I'll this be a is I go quiet. This is an IPA with Galaxy, Victoria's Secret, Citra Hops, and milk sugar. So it's Victoria's Secret. It's got Victoria's Secret. Like yeah, underwear? Like Victoria's Secret. Vic Secret. Cow, sorry. <laughs> it's the, it's the, the panty slipper, the panty dropper of yours. Is it like angel wings? <laughs> well, it is pink, so possibly. It might be angel wings. It might be the other stuff. Yeah. Is it anorexic? Well, I don't angel know. That cow that cow looks doesn't look that anorexic to me. So you is it me. mad? Um, it is because I'm drinking it. So all right, Mad Not bad cow. Cow. <laughs> it's uh, totally a Dan beer, but I'm um, looking forward to hearing what you're saying about it. All right, so hey, Nick, what's your beer? What's my beer? I'm gonna do a beer that's been sitting in my fridge because for a while because I, I picked up a special one up at Fairton uh, back in the fall. Uh, and uh, I was hoping maybe well, it would show up in Ontario, but it never did to do a BA 101 with. But I'm gonna drink it anyway while it's still somewhat good. This is. Golden Drac. Mm. Yeah, cl- the authentic dark red triple from Belgium. So this is a... That looks cool. Yeah, it's a 10.5% ABV. Uh, strong Belgian beer with oh. re-fermentation. Yay. Beer is named it's in honor of the dragon first to top the brewery. Yeah, yeah this is going to hit me like a ton of bricks, I think. <clears throat> All right, so let's uh, move along to... Um, well, I might as well just talk about the two comments we got. Paul, uh, hi, first of all. Cheers, buddy. And we'll talk about next week's beer at the end of the episode instead of the beginning. Uh, no moose said. No moose said. We're kind of we've having, been, still having our, having our boy Scott on, on moose head right now ever since they uh, ever since they laid off her best friend here. You're, you're still still, it almost looks like you're still drinking a moose head there. Yeah. <laughs> The bastard sneaky, that was that was sneaky himself. Sneaky bastard. That was uh, he, he changed the labels on a collective arts can. Holy shit. Uh, look at what we got with us. Almost. Red beard. It's a red beard. Hey, Carrie. How you doing? Ah, ah he checked we're his messages on the screen. We're gonna... 
<laughs> you're wondering if you're going to stop playing Spider-Man in time. That's why I stopped playing Spider-Man, because Greg invited me over here. So I did. I sent him a message. But I did right. not watch your video, even for a second. Thanks, Greg. Yeah. All right. So uh, <laughs> what, what do you have for beer there, Kerry? I haven't grabbed one yet. I've still got G Fuel. So, you know, yeah. He'll tell us in a moment. <laughs> I guess. Man, man, without Lee Russell here, everyone's just breaking all the rules. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> we'll just leave it up there as the shame while he's uh yeah. there. Plus we could plus we could see his cat if it's gonna attempt to bite him. Yeah, we have Dan with the Moo Cow IPA, and then there's there's Moo Cow sitting right there. The cat. <laughs> Moo Cow the cat. We're gonna the, lact- the, cat. the lactose cat. The lactose cat. <laughs> he, you know, he's, I can see his toes there. So I mean, he's. Yes, yes, Mooka, we're talking about you. <laughs> Hi, Mooka. Not tonight. There, I think what we're going to do is we'll just circle back to Scott and uh, talk to him. What's your history with this beer? I've um, never had it before. <laughs> um, uh-huh. I've had other collective arts um, beers and. Uh, I decided um, since Greg has sponsored me for this uh, beer review, I decided to uh, pick something up in his neck of the woods from Collective Arts, and uh, and uh, and just have to be a logger. Uh, is yeah, Collective Arts is from Ontario, isn't it? Yeah, it's from Hamilton. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I have no. Um, nothing for or against it. Collective arts and a lager, and it's a pretty bland can. And I'll talk about the tasting of it in a little bit. Which is kind of rare for collective arts because they almost always have some sort of like, you know, artist or whatever bullshit there. Well, I mean, this artist is from Italy, but I mean, it's not. Oh, that's actually an art can. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought that was just something AI created or something. No, it's from. <laughs> Ascara, it kind of looks that way. Yeah, hey, I can be out. Come on. All right. All right. So, thank you, Scott. Let's go over to Greg. Greg, what's your history with the beer you brought? I have zero history with this beer, other than you know the two sips I've had, and I'm trying to look. It does not appear I've had anything from Market Brewing. I thought I had, but if it's not an Untapped, then obviously it's not true. So, it yeah, I, I have no history with the brewery either. Okay. That's it. Sorry, sorry to disappoint you and not take you on an exciting journey as you probably would have wished. But I can offer you vaccine facts if you'd like. Uh, not tonight, Greg. We'll take you up on that offer uh, later when we want the chat taken down. Oh, good. All right. So let's uh, switch back to Lady Lee. Lee, Hi. What's, what's your history with you brought? Um, I've never had it before. It's my first time having this one. Um, I don't know. I can't remember. I know I've had stuff from Nickelbrook, but I can't remember what. But I've had the beer before. Awesome. All right. So, Dan. Yes. Hi. Uh, Matt, it, this is a lactose beer. You must have a history with it. No, I actually oh. haven't. <laughs> 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 um, I've had lots from Superflux. That's so seeing this label kind of shocked me because Superflux's label art, art label art isn't usually like this. So seeing that, and I was like, okay. And then seeing what it was, I was like, okay, now I'm interested because now they've changed up their IPA. They've added some stuff to it, and it's different than what it usually is from what I could tell. So my first time having this. That's my history. I know. Such a nice history. I know. Right? So much right. history. <laughs> yeah, already. So uh, that's that's Dan for you. So who's next? We got the beard. You can actually both tell us about his beer, what beer he brought, and tell us that's the history with it. Go ahead. Hi, Gary. I brought a beer that I've never had before in my entire life. It's just, of course, you've never had that. Before. Never had Hayes Mall before, ever. But I'm so I'm surprised you even bought one of those. It just doesn't seem like your kind of beer. I know it's shocking, but in all honesty, yeah, this is my go-to beer. I've had many, 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 many of these. And look at me go! I'm I'm 
seeing what I can do about getting the stream taken down already by slightly broadcasting the OHL game over here. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, at least it's not it's not Olympic curling. I don't think we have to worry. About it. <laughs> well, and, and and it's not the full screen. Like I'm wondering uh, how much like when does it get to the point where YouTube would actually be like, hey, we see what you're doing over there. I don't know. I can see more than fifty percent of the screen. Battalion winning five two. Yeah. I, yeah, I doubt it's gonna be. It's a fucking AHL game. There's be or an OHL CHL game. game. Broad, broadcast on CH CH or whatever. Local yeah, thing. yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no, nobody cares about that. It's like it's like broadcasting a W. Yeah, if it was the Olympics or NHL, then they'd probably give a shit. Or something right. made by Nintendo. Right. Right. Oh, you, oh! Just by saying, <laughs> just by saying, Nintendo, you're gonna get Nick sued. Oh shit! All right. So, uh, speaking of, while, while I can still speak before the channel gets taken down, um, yeah, I turns out I have had Golden Drack before, um, once, and I had a bottle much like this one uh, back in 2018. I had a, like a four or five year old bottle. I didn't really get the accurate age on it. And you know what? I think. It was either Gee or it was Chad that gave me the gave me the last bottle I had of it, but it was like four or five years old b bottle, and it I, it drank extremely well. I gave it a four point seven five out of five. So I'm kind of looking forward to trying this bastard tonight because uh, it was it really that good that aged back then uh, with a you know a crown cap bottle like usually these don't things don't age well, and uh, already this thing has got a year and a half's age on it where it's uh, it's either. 10th of November or the, the 11th of October 2022, but still she's got almost a year and a half on it. So that's not insignificant. Oh, so I've had long story short, I've had it once before. Um, I have had other beers from Golden Drack before, which is uh, the I've had the, the quadruple the 9000. And uh, I think that's I think that's it from them. Is it the 9,000? Oh, uh, the same brewery makes the uh, St. Stephanus. Does anybody remember that? That sounds vaguely know. familiar to me. Yeah, I yeah. had St. Stephanus back in 2015, I think, at the uh, the uh, Albrino Rhinos, um, the piss up before the, after the fest, I think. Who, who's that, Nick? Brewery Van Steenberg. Or are you talking to the guy that's living in their heads, friend? For <clears throat> The, oh, sweet, the, sweet, the, the, the sweet ceiling knife party? You were, oh, no. It was the year before the sweet the, the steel, ceiling knife. Oh, oh two years man. before the ceiling knife. It was the year that Paul and uh, and uh, Matt Massive Beer Reviews came up to Chad's. Oh, it's the, actually, I think it was Greg's first year there. Yeah. It was. And I got the I got them in trouble at the Rex Motel because I talked too loud, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. He's like, he's like, no parties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're, well, they're, they're, they're filming beer reviews. They're sitting in lawn chairs in front of their room, drinking a bunch of beers. I come by, I'm like, hey, guys, how's it going? Immediately, lady walks out, no parties, no parties. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All, it, all it took was like five <laughs> seconds of Greg. Yep, you know, that's, that's pretty much, she, she <laughs> had him pegged within five seconds and not the wow, way he wanted to be. Oh, five second pegging for Greg. You, I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the new chat name. Five second pegging from one of them double <laughs> double peg tongues. <laughs> well, you're putting the anal into beer anal. Yeah, really. <laughs> All right. Uh we have comments here, including from uh Bubba Sadies, who's Bubba Sadies in the house from Madeira Beach, Florida. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, uh, man. Greg has uh, the Colonel Russell Williams hairstyle. Um, yeah, and I like to, I like to steal I'm... steal panties and do terrible things to people too. <laughs> oh shit! I hope I don't get the chat taken down. Oh jeez! No, you're not talking about vaccines. Uh, so, yeah. uh, Bubba says I'm gonna go bring some Flor uh, Florida craft beer back for Red Beard. Hey, awesome! That'd be kind of cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, Bubba said he's telling him to let him know what styles he wants. Well, he's right here, so you can the, answer. The choice is yours, dude. Like, I, I'm partial to like bourbon barrel aged stouts and hazy IPAs, but I'll take whatever bring, you bring them all the Belgian grab. styles that you can. I, 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 I've grown to kind of like Belgian beers at this point. And barley wines. Don't so so forget some bar barrel aged barley wines. He likes, he loves to put firecrackers in those. again. That, that was that was a long time ago. So, and, and that, and that bottle. 
had issues. It was chunky. It was fucked. Something was not right with that bottle of beer. But yeah, whatever you want. Blowing up. And look who's in the chat here. We've got Marson. Yeah, Marson is back. We haven't seen you in a while. So Nick, your beer is fresh compared to the Modelo I had at my dad's three weeks ago. <laughs> That's a now, bottle of Modelo. Well, I was going to say, to give context, his dad's in Poland. Marson just came back from Poland. So, yeah, it was probably a beer that's been there yeah, for 20 years. Why are you buying Mar uh, Modelo in Poland? Like, there's all kinds of better beers in Poland. And uh, Bubba Sadie says, Stouts and Triples it is. Good choice. Works for me. Whatever you want, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Let's... Uh... I'll uh, just shoot the shit for a little bit before we uh, get into uh, thoughts on our beers. I want to hear what Scott has to say. I wish he'd do it on camera. Scott's uh, probably putting his kid to bed or something. I don't know. Yeah. That's not very Nick loyal. Well, that's, I know. That's, maybe, uh, that's the, maybe he's doing a, a, a mid uh, video Gregory where he does it before the, video, uh, before the live streams. Are you talking about pooping or masturbating? Both. Well, I was talking about having sex, but you know, poopsturbating. Poopsturbating. Ooh, ew, ew. Well, the one, the one Is a poopster course? The one character on that league show I'm watching, he does. He's like, when I take, I gotta get everything out. Everything has to get out when I take a shit. So he shits, pisses, masturbates. It's it's, it's pretty funny. Oh, hey, if you're in the bathroom anyway. You either, you either read a newspaper or hand crank the old yogurt blaster. Oh, jeez. The show is so fucking hilarious. <laughs> I've never even heard of the show, but I'm just learning about it uh, through Carrie. I feel like, yeah, like, like uh, it's a group of guys that have a fantasy football league. That's hence the name of the show. And if you know football... You'd obviously get more out of it because, like, they have guest stars and stuff. Like, factual NFL football players will be on it and stuff. But I don't. It's just the humor of the show is enough for me. It's fucking hilarious. That's like somebody telling me I, I need telling me at work. Oh, you got to watch Ted Lasso, even though you don't like soccer. I'm like, no, I don't want to watch a show about soccer. I don't care. I, I have heard that's a pretty good show. But again, like, yeah. if, if if soccer is just like you know, kind of <clears throat> in the background and. Just again, this the same thing with the league. If it's, it's if it can be about that, but if it, it's just the way they do it, I guess would make it watchable or not watchable for me. If that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see my loud cup finally arrived after so long? Is that the one you ordered for the hockey? The Italian well, or something? Or? Yeah, I backed them on Kickstarter like forever ago. And I mm -hmm. guess they had sent me an email being like, the project's all done, just finished the survey. And I didn't see that email. So it took forever for me to actually get it. took so long that when I emailed them being like, what's going on? They're like, oh, we didn't realize that they sent me a second one for free that I gave to my sister. But it's incredibly simple kind of technology. It's just like a little thing and you put your drink in and this side drinks and then this side here is so it's, it's just like it's a professional really slightly annoying it's, yeah yeah it's just like a professional annoying device yeah right again meant for a, it, you know some kind of a it's sporting meant event. for waking people up to pass it on a hangout oh shit yeah oh, oh that's gonna be it, it, awful it, it, for the first person to hang out <laughs> <laughs> Well, see that that, that 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 thing is. I'm. I feel like the one who's more commonly the one to pass out and hang well, out. Nick is too. Nick is too. Yeah, but usually I make it to. Like so I mean, we could wake carry up to wake Nick up. So okay. So some, well, I was gonna say, so somebody opening recording software, and we can get get, and then then everybody can have a copy of the sound. But, yeah. Is I, I feel like it'll be fun during a battalion game when they score and shit. <laughs> And usually the device doesn't help you like that doesn't help you score at all. Uh, okay, so Marson says my dad likes Mexican beers, so a three-year-old Modelo had to do the trick after a 16-hour flight and bus trip. Ooh, ouch! Uh, wait, wait, wait. What, what, what's what's the ratio so, we're looking at there? Like it was 16 hours. Like was I, it 15-hour flight and one-hour bus drive bus ride? Like 
I, I, th- I think it's, I think it's something like a 15, 15 to one ratio. Okay. But I'm sure Marson will chime in and tell you. So well, yeah, is yeah, dad, yeah, is his dad over in Poland or is he over, he's from over here too. And he, they just traveled together. No, no, no. His, both his parents moved back to Poland from Michigan a couple of years back. Oh, okay. uh, and he was, he was there visiting and uh, yeah, it's a, I think he had to take two flights. So I think he had to fly into like the UK or something, or I'm not sure exactly. And then he had to take a second flight to Poland or maybe he flew to Poland first, then flew to another part of Poland. I don't remember. Well, although the way that like just flying in general in the UK is depending on where you're going and stuff, it's almost like taking a bus. Like you're just like taking, doing a quick, tiny little jaunt kind of all over the place in the oh, UK. It's, it's 12 hour flight in a four. Okay. Hour. No, there we go. Yeah. Once you get well, to Europe, it's just cheap everywhere. Even, even being in the U S is like that though, too. It's like, like the U S is like, Oh, you just want to fly to this area of the country. Great. And I'll be back in the evening. Like, yeah, it's very different than Canada. Yeah. I think, I think in the States is still kind of more expensive than in Europe. Maybe. But um, well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about prices, but I mean, just in terms of like flights, like there's lots of daily flights. Like you can take off in the morning, go somewhere for your business meeting, and come back in the evening very easily. I feel like depending on where you are in Canada, you can probably do that. But it's just, could, not, not, not as that. much. I could do that to Toronto from where I live. Like, yeah. like they take the early morning flight, be in Toronto for like 9 a.m., do my shit, and then be back. Like at home at six PM. What would so, that cost? Oh God, you know? thousands of dollars. Like yeah. we would get really like, like I was thinking like maybe a thousand dollars. Like really like that. Part. It'd be probably like twelve hundred dollars. Okay, so that's that's very expensive, but the convenience and if you got the money, you know, it's nice to have that available. I guess I didn't. I didn't pay anything. Oh yeah, if you're well, I was my, my Moose, work paid for it. When you're with Moosehead, is that what? Yeah, that was no, no. Okay, I was with, I did that with um, Coast Tire. Okay, cool. There we go. You you did travel to Greg's neck of the woods for uh, Moosehead, yeah. And did they? Did yes. How did did they fly you, or did you drive? No, they flew me. They did pay for it then. Yep, but they didn't do it like day of. It wasn't a day trip. It was gotcha, gotcha. It was stay overnight for once or twice. Well, at the same time, if it was only a day trip, then you wouldn't have got to have the, the fun the fun with Greg. So, you know, yeah. And everyone likes fun with Greg. Two two times fun with Greg. No, I I've, 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 I've experienced fun with Greg a few times now, and it's it's you got it. it's, well, it's, so it's, Scott it's Scott got to Scott got to marinate the pool before everyone else got to enjoy it. There's a little there's there's a little bit of Scott a little bit of Scott permeated into all of our pores. There's a little. A little bit of Scott and everyone. His tadpoles get the swim. Except for oh yeah, except for Dan. I, I feel a little bit left out on this I one. Mean, I haven't been in the pool either. <laughs> oh Dan, you, 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 you so, so, Scott Scott my Scott. water's changed. Scott Scott Scott's, Scott's got his ways. He's inside you. Just to, as we speak, as we speak, he's in there. Don't you worry. I mean, I, I'm I, a seven minute. that's why I feel so good tonight. <laughs> I'm a seven minute drive to Nick, so that's and that's, you a, feel that's the thing. anal tonight. <laughs> Uh, well, Dan will get some handsome Jamie tadpoles up in him. And who and who knows? I might get a job in Calgary or Edmonton. There we go. Ooh, there yep, go. yep. I applied to three jobs today in Calgary. Listen, oh. ultimate, ultimately, before we all die, somebody needs to actually verify that Dan exists. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie won't do it. Come on. Yeah, of course. That, well, he has to go past Red Deer. That's bad. He has to go yeah, past Red Deer, and he can't do that. Yeah, <laughs> Can we already do our beer thoughts? <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's get get on with it. We yeah, had up to six viewers there at one point. No, uh, and then we gotta keep talking about random folks. stuff. So, yeah, we yeah, had yeah, just finished the comments here. Just finished the comments here. We had uh, Chris Lizak is in the comments saying off. I want to hear some Canadian beer news. He's okay. So one thing about his channel name is he's not off the tenth, and I guess he still is kind of. He's off still the off the tenth. Like it's as but long you know, as he doesn't, as long as he doesn't go back on the tenth floor somewhere. He's his not. Name he's is he's also it. off the Chippewa now too. <laughs> anyway, so uh-huh. yeah, Bubba said he says beer, folks. Focus. All right, we're getting back to the beer. So uh, that's the thing. Like we, we go on little tangents and stuff, but the the, the, the show yeah, is still generally show beer focused. Day. You know, well, we're, we're taking it. We're taking on a journey. We were, we were, we, 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 that was our right. little shoot the shit moment that kind of happened. 
Uh, oh my <laughs> what happened to Radar? He used to have his camera on the Monica Lewinsky. Jesus area. Christ. We, can have I, that I, joke. we don't really know where. Like, Radar showed up briefly on an offline hangout over the weekend, but uh, that, was, that was it. He wasn't around long. Um, and s- <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> so no, you well, have way lower. Uh, Radar has, has way down down has down. Down. Oh, lower. No, 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 we, do we can stop it now. We don't have to do that joke. Okay, so while we're looking at to, uh, Scott's cod piece, no, it's not. We can stop yeah. it. it. Scott's bulge. We could, but why? All right, so uh, Scott, what uh, what's your thoughts on your beer? So. Let me tell you about this beer from the Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm about to leave. Just saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Why? Right. Actually, um, I think it's, I think because it's not a joke. It's about like someone more who more had a lot of power who took advantage of someone who was really young. It's so, true. no, I don't see it as a joke at all. I see it as something very frustrating that happened to a lot of young women. It's true. Who had to put up with a lot of shit. So, we can get past this joke now. Sure. So, let's talk about the beer then. Um, for this beer, I am severely disappointed. Uh, Collective Arts, I thought they could do better with this. I thought it would have some sort of taste, some sort of flavor profile, but nope. Very bland. When the can says, um, you know, part canvas, uh, one part canvas, one part craft beer, uh, they forgot the craft beer. Uh, it's a blank slate. You, um, this should be cuvied with something, cuvied with something. Um, so for uh, as a beer, um, bland is all hell. Uh, I'm going to give it for style to uh, five for um, personal enjoyment. Five. It's passable. I can drink it, but no, it's 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 a corn beer. Very little head, very light. Um, what's the percentage? Four point nine. Has a has a gritty aftertaste to it. Uh, no get. I have another one in the beer. I will open up as soon as I'm done this one. It's going to be much more better. Greg knows what it is. I took a picture of it. Much more. Oh, better. I know what it is. I like the much more better stuff. <laughs> but I thought I'd give Collective Arts a try. Um, and uh, I thought it would be a chance to uh, see what their base beer is. And it's base. It's mid. Ah, I'm using, I'm using new terms. It's mid. Scott's all hipping with it. I know, right? It's like I'm 25 again. Really? You wish. I feel like all I'm right. in the club. All right. Thank you, Scott. Let's go over to Greg. Hi, Greg. So I accidentally drank this beer and didn't leave any. So we're reading this beer now. <laughs> <laughs> this beer, like, honestly, it drinks easy, but yeah, it does feel like something you should maybe put a cigarette butt out in. It's like it I don't know why they'd call it an IPA. It's like very sweet. Like to me, I if you had given me this blind, I would have said it was an amber is, ale. Is it is it an IPA? It says cold pale ale from what I'm reading. Okay, sorry, pale ale. Uh yeah. They inserted me, the gold. To get to me, it gave me not no pale ale vibes whatsoever. To me, okay. it, like I said, it tastes like an amber ale. Uh so yeah, if I were to rate this one, what would I rate it? Uh, well, as a cold pale ale, I mean, it's—I don't even know how to rate. I don't think I've ever rated a style this low. Uh, let's give it a three for style. It's—I don't know. It's—I I guess water is worse style of, of a cold pale ale than this. <laughs> um, personal enjoyment. It's like a five five. It's there's nothing wrong with it. It's boring. It's nothing I'd really want to drink, but it went down easy enough. So it's it's fine for what it is. So it's it's drinkable for what it is. It's drinkable for what it is. I mean, I've definitely had worse. It's better than Molson Canadian. Uh now this one. Number one's got it's got titties in the can. I'll also yeah, attach I'm, to I'm it. interested. I'm interested in the taste of that dark wheat beer. Are you really? Um, well, it. I don't get a whole ton of wheat beer from it, 
uh, because it's a smoked beer, and that kind of is what takes over the flavor. Now, there's also there's also a bit of a sweetness to it. Like best way I could almost describe this beer, it's almost like uh, it's almost like smoked grape juice. Like it tastes like grape juice, but then like there's the smokiness to it. So you know, you know, it's funny. It's it's Easter time. It's smoked grape juice. It could pass as a as a communion wine. I think I, I actually do think you could probably trick somebody and say, yeah, this is like a smoked wine or something like that. Yeah, because it does have a like a very grapey taste to it. Yes, Layla. Yes, we'll pay attention to you. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I like this beer. It's kind of it's kind of interesting. I mean, for a smoked wheat, I don't know. I've never had a smoked wheat before, so I guess it's a 10 out of 10 because it's the best one I've had. Or at least I can't recall having one. Maybe I have. I guess it's a 10 out of 10 since... To me, this is the perfect perfect representation of this style. And uh, personal enjoyment, not really a big, big on smoked beers, although this one's not all that smoked. So, um, I mean, technically they don't even say it's smoked, but that's what I think it tastes like. Um, it's like a seven for me. Like, I like it. It's enjoyable, but wouldn't really rush out to get it again. So, you know, it's, it's good. I probably wouldn't put a cigarette out in it since it tastes like it already has a cigarette put out in it. Well, this is kind of disappointing. <laughs> We've had like well, two in a row now that have been less than impressive beers. Cigarette butt beers. Well, this is a, just a complete night of disappointments. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks, Greg. Let's move on over to Laylee and she can tell us if uh, her beer is worth putting a cigarette butt out in. Um, How magical not- is it? It's not worth putting a cigarette butt out of it, but uh, if you put the name Magical IPA and you say that it has magical in it, um, it also says it's a hot blizzard for like the poor color, which is kind of funny as well. Uh, There's Okay, so the can has a lot of personality. This beer doesn't. It's a very like basic beer. It's not a bad beer. Um... It's not to say that I don't enjoy it, but there's nothing about it that makes it special. Like, I was expecting something to, like, I don't know. I don't even know. Like, you have, you put the word magical. You could have literally done anything that tasted different than your standard IPA. And that would have been, like, my thought process of, like, magical. They didn't do anything. There's nothing changed. They just caught a really cool can. And just sold an IPA. What's the date on your can? Uh, January 4th. And you, uh, you buy, you bought that downtown? January 8th. Yeah. Yeah. And they didn't have, and it's not in the fridge. Oh. Yeah. Like I, I, I had that when they first got it and I honestly thought it was really good. So like the, the downtown LCBO is just the place where they let beer sit up to die. It makes me so sad. Just so, anyway. so it under it, under or over promised and under delivered yeah like just the can art itself is so much fun and it calls it a magical ipa you just i just expected like something different i'm not saying it's bad it's like, of, it doesn't taste bad it's just when, it's name like, when you name like magical you kind of expect, expect unicorn farts with sparkles <laughs> Whatever those taste like, but yeah, I was expecting something. <laughs> they taste like Fruit Loops and, and happiness. You're just expecting <laughs> just with like a little bit more elevated. Like it could be that it did once upon a time had more flavor, um, but unfortunately, uh, it just tastes like a, a standard IPA. It's good. Uh, it does say juicy, and I do think it does taste juicy. So they have that right. So um, I'm gonna go. Uh, it breaks my heart. Um, it's really hard to <laughs> uh, give like, um, oh my God, what's the word for it? I'm blanking right now. Um, a rating for the style. Because I, I'd be rating it like an IPA, but it, like it says a magical IPA. So I think I'm just going to go with like a flavored IPA. Okay. Just in general. So Rated on it's magic. Going, yeah. If it's going with a flavored IPA, um, unfortunately, it's going to go pretty low because I don't taste much out of it. So I'm probably going to go down to like a four. Um, But for personal preference, like I'd give it a 7.5. It's just, like it, it 
tastes like a good standard IPA. It's juicy. It's got your alcohol. It does all it needs to do. But unfortunately, it's just the name got me like so hyped up and excited. And then I had it and I was like, oh, well, that's not an orgasm. So I'm slightly disappointed. All right. Well, yeah, that's kind of is kind of disappointing because I was looking forward to hearing how magical this thing was and and it's a very boring standard IPA. But like, very, very, uh, like Jerry said, it could just like be the fact thing. that it's... like like a local brewery here did the did a did a pride beer that had like actual sparkles in it, like like edible sparkles that's in it. Cool. And the, the beer shimmered in the light, and it was actually a fairly tasty beer. And I'm just thinking, like, if you're gonna call something magical. Why didn't you do that? It could be like, just make it actually magical. Unicorn farts, magic wands, and shit. Come on, actually <laughs> be, be like, fucking magical. It could be like Carrie said. Uh, it was so the place downtown doesn't refrigerate their beer like any of these. Mm -hmm. They they and, used to refrigerate a decent amount, but now they're suddenly like, oh, we gotta fucking fill it up with seltzer. But have you it, seen I, it now? Yeah, now it's even more confusing. It's bullshit. It's I so went over, keep that seltzer fresh. I went to the back to like get stuff because usually they have like a couple of uh, craft beers, which I still do. But yeah, they used to have like your basic stuff and whatever. Um, anyways, now it's just really confusing. I had crests. They had crests in the fridge, which made me laugh so much because you do not need to put that in the fridge. Like that shit is like, no, like it's they like keep, cockroach. They keep it's that just... and keep the lake of rice in the fridge. Like they keep that. They keep so much beer in the fridge that does you could leave well, that beer in the desert for ten now years it's like, and it'd be fine. Now it's like, uh, like the seltzers, cider. It's all these different things, and that small, tiny space of like craft beer, and then all the craft beers on the shelf, which is so unfortunate. Because yeah, this could have been something that was. Um, uh, I can't think of words, but anyways, was affected well, yeah, by well, the fact that when, it I, when I tried it, I, I again, I, I did the whole magical thing, is kind of weird, but it was it was a really tasty fucking hazy IPA when I had it. It was good stuff. It, it makes me sad that. So many beers just die. Yeah, yeah, it's like that in Indy too. Succumb to, there we go. Succumb yeah. to <laughs> the fact that I'd been on the shelf for so long. I am having hardcore ADHD, ADHD moments for like trying to remember words. It's great. Mm. Actually, okay. So funny one. This is like totally tangent, but really quick. I was in class today, and uh, so <laughs> one of the, the things about like being neuro neurodivergent is that you don't remember the proper word, but you'll make up a word that works. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like you'll just think I'm drawing a blank here. I know that word, but fuck. Yeah, so today um we were talking about a song and it how it's Canadian and uh the anthem started to play on, but I couldn't remember the word anthem, so I wrote Canada's theme song. <laughs> <laughs> Because I couldn't remember Anthem. And I looked over my friend and I was seeing how I write him. like, oh, yeah, that's Anthem. But I, I was listening to a bunch of, anyways, there's a whole thing. I was listening to a bunch of other people who, like, come up with words because they can't remember the actual word that they were trying to say. So they come up with this, like, outrageous, like, description of what they were trying to say. Yeah. And, and the Hold on. I, I, I would argue themes, the theme song could also, like, if Canadian theme song, the fucking it, Hockey it, Night in Canada song. Carrie's neurodivergent as is blurting over everybody. Do, 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 no, he's okay. Um, do, do, do. Anyway, no, that, I just thought that was hilarious. I couldn't, I cannot think of the word anthem today. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> and my neurodivergent ass, ass is going like, oh, anthem, that's the name of Russia's uh, record label. I don't know. Anyway, so. <laughs> Back on track. We off track. A, okay. D, A, D, A, D, one, two, three. Easy as one, two, squirrel. All right. So, thank is. you, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly okay thanks lady uh so it was four you gave four and seven five right yeah okay yeah okay i was paying attention for that part that's nice right. of you nick i know thank you for that all right let's move over to dan who i think is pretty excited to talk about his beer going by this shit he was doing like I was watching the I was watching the, oh, the maple leafs game and there's a fight oh. going on so oh, okay now oh, are the leafs winning no they're losing three to one so it makes it even better Awesome. That's, not, that's business, business as usual. They're winning oh, in your heart, right? Anyways, I don't care. I don't watch hockey. I don't know how much time I have. Apparently, my Wi-Fi is gone now, so I might actually lose my internet soon, too. Um, so uh, that being said, let's get through this really quickly here. Muko IPA. 
Um, honestly, it's not a bad beer. I like it as an IPA. However, with the uh, milk sugars in it, it turns it down a little bit, and it's almost like a pale ale. Um, it's drinkable. You really don't have that sweetness in there. You have more of the bitterness of the hops, and it actually is quite easy to drink. Um, so it's very well hidden with the milk sugar. Uh, the milk sugar is very well hidden is what I mean to say. The milk sugar. <laughs> yes. That's what it says. It says milk sugar right fucking just, there. I, don't, I, I believe you. I just, it makes me laugh. Milk sugar. Milk sugar, baby. Milk anyway. Sugar. <laughs> you don't have a cow, man. <laughs> no. Is that um, what they call it? <laughs> I guess it would be milk salt. Yeah. Um. <laughs> They can't really call it a lacto sugar. They just call it milk sugar. I don't fucking know. Um, anyways, aside from that, the taste is actually really good. It's not overly bitter. It's not overly sweet. The chat's are really quite nice. Um, so for a style, I don't know. I, I've never had a Moo Cow IPA. I don't think anyone has. It's like a milkshake um, IPA, I assume. But not quite. That's the thing. I would have called it a milkshake IPA. Um, they know, or they or, or they just do exactly what Lady Lee's beer is doing, where they're taking a hazy and calling it something different. Yeah, they could be just, doing that too. Just trying to stand out. Had they said hazy, it, I would have stood been out happy. with the label. Yes. So. <laughs> I would have got on like untapped or eight beer and see what what they call it for a style there. Because like very yeah, hazy. That's true. <laughs> but um, yeah, they call uh, it an American IPA apparently. What? All right, hmm. whatever. Weird. Sure, let's go with that. American IPA, it's got the bitterness of an American IPA, but the haziness of a wet, uh, East Coast? Uh, I don't fucking know. Uh, for a style, sure, let's go six, because it seems a little bit confused. Beer advocate calls it a milkshake IPA. Oh, my fucking God. It doesn't even know what it is. My milk uh, milk <laughs> beer calls it. No, don't even go down that path. I'm Not right like, here. It's better than yours. <laughs> Damn right, it's better than yours. I Damn think right. you really have to check. He brings all <laughs> his uh, haze beers to the yard. So yeah, Nick, just just while you're searching, put down six for style because if I lose my internet, <laughs> for enjoyability, an eight. Dan needs to be like in the it. record books. All right. Yes, I do. Uh, I like it as I like it as a beer. It's actually not bad. It works. It's got the haziness. It's oh wait, apparently I, I didn't see that either. Does it does it have chunks in there too? It has chunks in there too that I didn't even notice. I saw that on camera. All right. Wait, beer cool. calls it a New England style. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I... It's all over the map. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it is the mother nature of beers. It doesn't even know what it's doing the next fucking day. I, uh, I would have called it a milkshake IPA when they're thinking of it because it's because uh, it's like a and haze. It's, yeah, yeah. It's a non bear non binary beer. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Mm. So enjoyability, it's an eight. Bureau I like divergent. it. It works. Bureau divergent. And it's gone. One, one, of, them All trans, right. one of them trans beers. It's on its way to be <laughs> All righty. So six and an eight on that one. I guess that means thank you, Dan. I guess it means it's my turn now to talk about Golden Drac. I don't know who could say like like what else is there to say about this? This is a fucking classic beer. Now, um, compared to the last time I had it, according to my untapped rating, I, I fucking loved it back then. I love it now, but I feel like I don't love it as much as I, I basically gave it a blowjob or something. Not really. I didn't do this Man, yet. this chat's getting sexual. Man, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but when there's pegging, there's no sex involved. Anyway, so, but yeah. No, like, Nick, you loved it since high school? Shut up, Greg. Uh, no, I am no. not quite as enthralled at the beer <laughs> on, camera focus, as I was back then, but it's not that I don't love it. Love, it's not that no, I don't love it. You broke Carrie. No, that was you, like Greg. I don't that love good. it from high school or something like that. So, <laughs> All right. So that it's got a, when you, when you give it, give it the, give it a whiff, it's got a slightly whiny, uh, like a cherry aroma, uh, taste of dark fruits, you get cherries, sugar candies, uh, chocolate and toffee notes buried in there. It's actually remarkably complex, but the biggest thing about this is how goddamn smooth this is. It's super light. It's super smooth. It's 10.5%, but it drinks like a four. Wow. This is actually really fucking incredible beer in that regard. 
Like this is dangerous. Like I'm struggling to keep less little the last bit in my glass here, and I've been sipping it. Uh, but at 10.5 percent, you can't tell if it's boozy at all. This is really well masked. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a nine for the style, and an 8.5 for overall enjoyment, just because. Holy fuck, is that ever smooth? Holy fuck, is that ever well masked? The flavor department is maybe not as complex as I really want, uh, for especially for a Belgian strong dark ale. But who can complain too much? This is really, really great. So, did we all cheat poorly? Too? Well, yeah, that's that's uh, it's a night of poor choices. Well, it's not like we don't make, all make poor life choices from time to time. <laughs> I think this is uh, talking about uh, something sexual all over the chat's neck, face, and chest, right? Oh, all right, geez. so I just have to make all it right. Did, so did, did Carrie we go? lost? We lost Dan because this internet went out. Oh yeah. Did Did Carrie go? Nope. No, Carrie's still here. But did Carrie gave his beer review? Nope. <laughs> no. I didn't. Oh, oh! Did Nick just violently, violently skip over Carrie? Oh, you know what it is? Is because I didn't, uh, I didn't write the, uh, Carrie in the list because he showed up really late. I was honestly just waiting to see if anyone was going to notice. I, I was, I was going to, I thought I was going to laugh at the end of this. It was like the, the show's over, and then I was going to point it out. But thank, oh, thank you, is. thank you, Lily. Okay. Um. Yeah, I had this eighty-five bazillion times. It is, a, in my opinion, at three sixty-five a can. Here in Ontario, it'd probably be like eighteen dollars for Nick if it showed up his place. But uh, yeah, seven percent hazy IPA. As long as it's fresh-ish and kept refrigerated, like doesn't undergo hop falling off cliffs or trying to you know fly into a couple twin towers something like that. Um, Jesus yeah, it's uh, Christ. It's uh, it's <laughs> it's it's this is this. Are you is trying a, to get the chat taken this, down this again? Is, this is a fantastic exit. No, I, I got a theme going right now. I've been doing this for a while. This is uh, um, tell us this about is, how this, 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 this is such a perfect example of just a great hazy IPA for a great price. It's not the best I've ever had, but like I go nines across the board for this beer because it's right. it's great. Tens, 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 and 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 just this brew, this brewery in general. Like th there was talk in the chat earlier today that I would pretty much agree with uh, the uh, beer we were supposed to have tonight. That I had a failing of the Blood Brothers beer. It was like four fifty or something like that a can, and it, it's tasty, but value for money is just not even close to what this is. So, yeah. Man, GLB in general tends GLB to be is a good pretty value. fucking good value, yeah. yeah. I wish I could get their a beer like that here at that kind of price point, but it's fantastic. It's like non existent now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Apologies for missing you before, but uh, all right. Now so, we've oops. all went. <laughs> now we've all had a chance. Uh, I'll read uh, I'll read the comments that have come in since. Uh, okay, so first of all. You got Jimmy C in the chat, the good Jamie. Or, well, actually, the other, they're both good Jamie. So it's uh, Jamie is in the what chat saying, Jamie? Howdy, howdy, sir. Uh, Radar has appeared after we said his name out loud too many times. Uh, Radar cannot afford <laughs> beer most of the time. Yeah, well, at least you got a job now. That should hopefully change soon. Um, He's got a job when I don't. Cool. What the exactly. fuck? Exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. I know, Scott. <laughs> This is like Bizarro oh, World. Jesus Christ. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Radar. It's all the best. Yeah, Red Beard, and he spells things, <laughs> spells things like a Ford all weird and shit. Yeah, right. Mm, I, I take it. that from Guy. Lee says milk sugar is Dan's stripper name. <laughs> I believe it. Uh, wow. That's why he's got that Victoria's Secret hop, the hops and the uh, and Victoria's Secret and lactose hops and shit. Anyway, but, I could set the mood to like stripper lighting if you really want me to. Dan oh, says, I thought his stripper name was Dodge. Me too. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's got the moves like a truck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's when he turns his trick on the side. It's Dodge Ram. <laughs> I'm not a lizard lot. Thank you very much. A lizard. <laughs> a lot lizard. That's the word. Dan, 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 Dan does have a record. 
Dan is of a record, the 12 par 6 shot with cum shots. That's a gender fluid. <laughs> well, yeah, I, he's, I actually guess more accurate. Gim- he's actually more accurate than non-binary because non-binary is someone who doesn't really associate with either and gender fluid is someone who like goes between one and the other. Yeah. I believe. I could be wrong, but I believe. So he no, is I think you're right. Yeah, I think you're he's, right. He is the accurate one with the gender fluid beard. Love or the, the gender, the beer fluid. All right, so Bubba Sadie says Lee has finally arrived. Yes, he's in the chat. All over the chat's face, neck, face, and chest. That sounds like how Lee would typically arrive. That's how he rolls. Lee Russell's, I want to ignore Carrie too, Nick, but that was just mean. <laughs> yeah. Nick is the and uh, Lee Russell says uh, that beer and Hayes Mom, I'm assuming. <laughs> the, five G, the G5 chip of beer. So, yes, the mid 2000s power PC uh, chip that powered uh, the Macs before they switched to Intel. Um, like or G- unless he really meant the, the 5G. Nerd! Uh, thumbs thumb up the chat watchers. Let's get the algorithm briefly. The side I, I us. And, uh, oh yeah. I guess I guess we got oh, noticed yeah. by YouTube over the last weekend where it reviewed one of yeah. our chat one of our chats and then took it down. Really? Yeah. Gary, yeah, Gary, yeah, Gary was so talking about uh, vaccines <clears throat> or something. It was weird. We went from a chat talking about like. Uh, like uh, abortions or something like that, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> somebody was talking about using a vaccine to stare. I- I'm not saying it because it'll get this one. You're too late. You just, no, you I, just, I, just I, tagged yourself. Yeah, no, no. It, 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 I was talking was, about. We were it. all talking about like just like something that happened in history that. No, I was talking about a show. It was a, a show that a aired show that in, in a, a <laughs> called Utopia, a really great right. show. And in that show, no, they, no, they, no. they, they made good. a boy, they good. made a black. It's good. We're not getting this one taken down. Censoring my. I know that's what got changed the thing chat taken down that, last that, time. That's, that's what I'm saying. All right. I, I said they made a blank that then made all the <laughs> may, uh, that made people unable to reproduce, and it was the whole thing. So I'm not saying the word. I didn't say the word at all. I didn't say like it. Take it's down. Funny, it's down. It's just, that it's just, was hilarious. <laughs> Sorry, Red, you're, no. you're just like, okay, I no. see where this is going. Is I was censoring myself. I was not being... going to just no. explain and... and, and continue, Nick. Continue. Dump ...what that show was about again. Uh, so the, good show. Uh, shut up, Lee. You woke <laughs> gender fluid beard. I get that a lot. Love you, Carrie. All right, I'm Carrie. Gender, gender, gender solid beard. Foil nonsense. Get a Facebook group. You crazy. Yeah, go on to Facebook, Facebook where they won't take your, chant, your uh, group down. Yeah, me talking about a TV show that happened. I'm sorry that that's um, into conspiracy. Oh no, it, yeah. The, no matter what it was, it, it got to it got it, No, it it's completely done what YouTube did. But I mean, we weren't even talking about. Yeah, no, I, I watched the clip right, and it's fucking just, hilarious. Because yeah, it was, I, I wasn't. There was something about that where I, I'd heard before, and it was like, yeah, okay. I mean, I heard. I'm not repeating it. I guess there's certain things we just can't talk about in a free speech society. But uh, okay, yeah. so. I Ten guess we'll seconds to go in the battalion game. Yay. So let's go over to the Scott and say, of all the beers here you heard here tonight, which one would you rather have, Mr. Scott? I'll tell you something. There's a whole bunch of not good duds. ones. Yeah, a whole bunch of duds. Um, I would probably I, – I, I was really hoping Dan's beer would be a little bit better, um, but I think I'm going to go with Nick's. I think I'd very, I think I'd like to try Nick's because the way he described um, all the flavor profiles of that, it was very complex and it was very um, fruity and, and 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 alive. It sounded it sounded alive. Everything alive. else we've we've had here was DOA. Now I've since opened up one of these. Ooh, a Pollyanna. That's tasty. Yeah, it it, it is very tasty. It's quite good. Um, I like that and, one too. Is that sort of like wild IPA? It's almost yeah. like a sour IPA. Yeah, and it's uh, two crows. Um, seven point yeah. three percent. Anyway, delicious. Right, way better than this one here. But uh, I would try. I would. I would like to have next. Nice. All right. So uh, who, who's next? We got uh, Mr. Greg. Hi, Greg. Of all the beers oh. you heard here tonight, which one would you rather have had? Well, let's see. I've had I've had my boobies, but my beer wasn't that great. (laughs) Yeah, so I would just be voting for the boobies, and Greg would never do that. 
So I call bullshit. Yeah. We well, too. although I mean, I've had Scott's beer, I've had Carrie's beer, I've had uh, Nick's beer. Dan, remind me what you're having. Oh, you're having a lactose something bullshit, right? Yeah, I vote for Lady Leith. I have a See, you went for the you went for the tits anyway. I, uh, Lady, well, as much as I'd like to vote for the tits, Lady Lee kind of just won by default just because the rest of you guys brought bullshit. I didn't bring bullshit. Well, you brought a good beer, Nick, but I've had it many times, so. No, I didn't. I, 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 That's fair. Uh, well, what you said, you've had my, I would say what Scott said, though, you know, when everybody else bringing blah, 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 blah. You know what? You haven't, have you had Hayes Mama, Scott? Yes. Okay, then fair enough. I didn't realize you had it. Fair yeah. enough. All right. Okay. Based, on, based on your recommendation. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good. Okay. I thought she was sniffing her shirt for a second there. I said I have a dog on my shirt. Oh. I just can't pull my shirt up all the way. Okay, go ahead. All right, Lee. Uh, of all the beers you heard of tonight, which would would you have rather have had? Nikolaj has my vote tonight. Woo. Uh, Woo. He had me with the name from the get go, and the body looked really cool. Um. And that's it. <laughs> well, uh, sorry, I shouldn't say that. And then his actual description was like, okay, cool. You actually had an exciting beer versus the rest of us who kind of fell flat. Mm. All right. Thank you, Lady Lee. Uh, let's move on over to the, the beard and uh, see what he thinks. Which one would you rather have had? Um, first, I got uh, Bob Sadie's <clears throat> GLB Conduct. Well, I think we have done a review on that. I'm sure we've done that as a beer. Analysis, yeah, we did right? it a couple yeah. years ago. I'd and, love to and, revisit and, it. And though. no, not best value ever. It's 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 great, but it's like barely over five percent. Hayes Mama is for the price increase over Canuck. It's no Hayes Mama is the best value beer. Best value ever. When did Walmart come out with a beer? Well, that, mean, Canuck, that's, uh, that's great value. That's great value. Canuck, oh, Canuck, Canuck is like the best. <laughs> The the, the 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 best cheap craft beer you can find, in my opinion. I'll agree with the best that. Cheap one. But when it comes for value for what you're getting, Hayes Mama being just a bit more expensive and giving you just that that extra punch, It's worth it for the extra ABV. Yeah. It's my but, it's my but for, value. but for like I think I, I can't remember if they're the same price or I think I think octopus is like five bucks cheaper a case and superior to Hayes Mama. So fuck you. That no, that that's no, that's a that, I'm that's, that, that, that's a subjective thing right there. Here. No, no, that I just I I like octopus, but it's six point five. Hayes Mama is that little bit more, and it's just. Oh, a, you, you, you do. I, 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 I'm more the Hayes guy. You do win on you do win on the guy. you do win so, on the math. I give you but, that. Seven percent is better than. Actually, what, what but, is octopus? I don't even remember what it is. Six five. Six five. Six, five. Yeah, is six, it, five. Is six five. Yeah, six five. Okay, yeah. I'll take. I'll take your word but, for it. And again, it's, it's also a very good IPA, but I just like the personal preference. I, like I don't even know what the I don't even know what the price is like. They're either the same or the octopus is slightly cheaper, but they're all everything. As far as the question that was asked. Um, I randomly think I would like to try Dan's beer just because it sounds interesting to me. There we go. I'm having a juicy ass now because the LCBO is, they didn't get their order today because the Monday was a holiday kind of thing. And they've, they're all in a haze bomb. I'm sad. All right. Okay, right, let's go over to Mr. Dan and ask him the question. Which one is you rather? I see. I dropped down a rating after I dropped out. I get it. I get it. Uh, <laughs> you were never rated highly to begin with, Dan. Well, thank you. But thank it, you, Greg. <laughs> oh, pardon me. That being said, Greg, you've just been disqualified. Um, oh, wow. Honestly, I haven't tried the. The, the, the golden drach yet and I kind of want to so um wow Nick that's three for you buddy nice at least I got one vote <laughs> thank you Dan all right uh okay I guess I'm, I'm moving on we we're pretty much already settled though who's the winner but uh I do want to say that of all the beers here to her tonight I, I'm not the craziest fan of lactose uh the ones that Greg had kind of sound a little boring I've had that collective arts lager that Scott had Hayes Mom is very, very fucking tasty, but I got to hand it to it. I, I'd like to try Dan's. So that's me voting for Dan, who's got a lactose beer. And usually lactose beers don't agree with me. So I would take the risk to try it. That's, that's, a, Dan, that's, yeah. a, that's, a, that's a I scratch your back, you scratch mine. <laughs> uh, it's not the most interesting of the rest. So, uh, okay. So I guess uh, I guess I leave myself on screen and say, yeah, I'm the winner of my own show. 
Yay! Or, or I whip, I whip my golden drac out. Rock out with drac out. I mean, it is the best beer here. Don't get me oh. wrong. It's just not the one I want to try because I've tried it. Yeah, yeah. I, I hear you there. Uh, oh, I just figured it was uh, a tasty beer. I had, had another option I could have could have drank tonight, which probably would also done well. It's uh, Foghorn's Cobra Chicken Cold IPA, but I will drink that by myself. This has been sitting in the fridge long enough. I figured I might as well use it for something productive. Yeah. Which this is actually a really exceptional beer. I don't have I to mean, to see if they got any more of these up in Ferguson the next time I go up. So yeah, if you if you have one, pick one up for me if you don't mind. Sure. Um, I mean, I, I I'm really enjoying this guy here. I really am. That I've it's had on a number of occasions before, and Lee can probably see it. And Mr. Lee is in the chat. He can probably see that that he that he we uh, he knows. I'm pretty sure he knows that one's a pretty tasty beer. You're a pretty tasty right. beer. Oh well, thank you. All right. Speaking of uh, pretty tasty comments, let's. Uh, this has been asked before. What's next week's beer? I guess the question could be answered right now. We were, we were going to do uh, Guilty Remnant from Blood Brothers this week, but or, but uh, it got canceled because well, somebody lost their can and uh, and uh, the only people that have. And then there were a couple of other people could show up tonight. So we just said, screw it. So we'll do something show and tell. So if, if it's possible, I'd like to do that one next week. Um, unless there's people like Lady Lee or Carrie can't get the beer or Dan shows up or something like that, then uh, we want to be accommodating for the people we do have too. So, cause it next sounds like it would week. just be a show between me, Greg and Scott, which is enough for a week. I could potentially make the stupid drive. To Haley Burry and grab a can or two. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Well, I don't know how. Uh, like, I, I don't know how fast they work, but I mean, you can just order some cans from the LCBO and have them bring it to your local store, and you know, you can get one for you and Lady Lee or whatever. There might be a minimum, though. That's the only. No, I, that, that that particular beer, it, it did. I want to say the LCBO app said that one is not available to be shipped to store for some whatever. Reason. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. You can you, you can say like this many available in store, or this many available to be shipped. <clears> I want to say it was. I think if it, I think if it's an old beer they're trying to get rid of, yeah, they don't they don't let you do that. That's the weird thing where it just, <clears throat> Greg, the one that you bought, the picture you showed, it was like still almost a full two for it. Looked like they had at least. Oh yeah, and they've it got just shit, showed they've up got for shit Nick, so it's like, how is it? Well, randomly, I don't know if Nick wants to buy another one of Greg. That Auto Pop one, it's back in stock here at the one location oh, here the in Terry town. Cherry Cola Auto Pop is there. Yeah, I can get. Well, I, I can, can get that. more of that. You can you get it, Greg? Probably. Uh, the Cherry Cola one. I I think I can get that one. Yeah. I yeah. saw that. I saw that when I was looking for mine today, and I was like, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, this one out of stock. The uh, guilty remnant, not available in store now. Not available to not available to be shipped to store. And I don't understand how. Like so the, app, the app, the app knows that my preferred store is here in North Bay. Yet somehow it's telling me the closest location is seventy eight point three kilometers away in Haleybury. Haleybury is like one hundred and fifty kilometers away. Jesus. That doesn't make any sense that it's that wrong. I mean, I know it would be ideal for everyone to have the same beer, but I mean, we could make it a Blood Brothers night and just say, can you get a Blood Brothers beer? Because I think that, I, I assume Carrie can get some Blood Brothers beer nearby. That's well, like I said, I, guess I can get that auto pop thing is available. And then there's like three different Blood Brothers beers we can get here. So me and Scott could do different ones. <coughs> Why don't we do that? We'll just have a have a Blood Brothers night. Because I bet yeah, I mean, we, we can all get a Blood Brothers beer except for Dan. Could it works. You're probably not gonna. Have, you're probably gonna be eating it uh, this hour anyway. And then but Dan course, will, Dan, Dan's gonna, gonna eat, but not food. He's probably, probably washing his hair. No. Uh, no. Okay. Why don't we do that? We'll reach. We'll, we'll plan around it. I still have a beer history I wrote up, so we might as well. Use that. There you go. Nick week. doesn't have to do any extra work. We're doing BYOB Blood Brothers. Maybe that's actually something we can do <coughs> going forward. Just like pick a brewery and then uh, see what we can get from it. I feel like uh, did we do that with Collective Arts at least once? Maybe. But that, that doesn't like that. Yeah, why not? Just, we might yeah. have. We might have done it. For brewery Art. theme. I'm down with that. Yeah. yeah. Hey, 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 so, so, when, once Scott, once Scott gets in his new new place, we new moose head. I don't know if anybody. I'm just going to say kidding. right now. If <laughs> Go ahead, Lady Lee. Everybody, or if the people who have 
the Blood Brothers one now, the one that you were supposed to do. Yeah. Um, if you can hold on to it, there are some in Alexandria, and I'm supposed to go visit my parents. Okay. So I would be able to pick one up for Carrie and I. There we go. Okay. But that's go. it. Might not happen just because it looks like they're not selling it anymore. Because usually, like when it says it's not available, it's stuff that they're getting rid of, like for uh, pickup and delivery and stuff like that. Okay. So I can't promise. But what? there is a possibility I could go get it at Alexandria. Well, that's okay. I mean, I've already got a, I've got a Paradise Lost cherry sour already in the fridge. Yeah, I mean, I, I can get the Paradise Lost. So, I mean, if Carrie can get that, and you know, I feel like I would have to get it like tomorrow because there's only nine left. <sighs> I don't feel the people of Alexandria are going to be like swarming to get that beer. Yeah, unless I'm you're North planning Bay. to go. I'm still in oh. North Bay. <laughs> yeah, you're not planning. I don't know when you're planning to go down to your parents. Yeah, place it'll still, it'll still be there in two, two months. Yeah, they said there's about 30 of them, so it should be there for a while. Uh, the thing is, though, beer does go a lot quicker <coughs> in Alexandria because there's a lot of people passing through Ottawa and Montreal. Because that's kind of well, like the, the second one. The thing is, I mean, doesn't your dad do like a 1,000K run every day? Why don't you just get him to buy you a couple and then <laughs> run, it <over laughs> we'll run it up? <laughs> yeah, it's only 800 and 900 kilometers. Oh, that's like... No, but that'll, take, only, that'll take your dad like an hour and 10 minutes, maybe. Va yeah. valid, valid question, kind of. Kind of on the back, but could you maybe get your parents to go there before you arrive and grab those beers and have them in the fridge, even just to make sure they're secured, kind of thing? Maybe? I have to explain everything to my parents. <laughs> okay, no, fair, fair enough, fair enough. It's an awesome idea. Don't get me wrong. It's just I feel like I'm going to end up with the wrong beer. <laughs> well, at the same time, like it's right on the just just take a screenshot of the picture the. the, the very clear picture of the can on the LCBO app. The thing Send is, them. like, they're going to go to the beer store. My mom, first of all, is going to say no. Because as soon as anything gets too complicated for her, she doesn't do it. That's she just funny. straight up is like, fuck that. My dad is going to literally, like, not know how to check the screenshot on his phone. Got really confused and stare at a bunch of beer. No, that's and fair then enough. just yeah. be like, oh, I didn't know what to get. <laughs> so I just got you this instead. You, well, <laughs> you could tell your dad, take the picture of the beer, go up to an employee and say, give me this. Again, he has to pull it up on his phone. I'll do random questions. Do you, do you not do you not have any any random friends in Alexandria on top of no, no nothing? No. Okay. No. No. Fair enough. Oh shit. Yeah, it's funny that you say that. No, I, I lost communication with a lot. They're all like super fucking small town fucked up people that never left the town. So nice. I just Nick. Small town, fucked up people, never left the town. You know, do you know anybody like that? Sussex, you and me, brother. <laughs> people that have, been have you left your town? Yeah, I moved to Calgary and then came back. Remember, you're still here. I, I, I left and came back. Remember, right. hey, listen, if, I wasn't born here. I'm just saying, anyway, uh, you, you were born, yeah, you moved here when you were 10. To be fair, Lady Lee keeps <laughs> going back to her hometown as well, so. For school, I, yeah. I at least left for a year. Well, and and to visit her parents. Nothing wrong with that. I'm I've glad there's nothing wrong with visiting her. Be, be in a perspective. Uh, I left home and I missed everybody here. So, and guess you who? Guess who? These people have not even left like the province or like the border of Quebec. Actually, the I'll tell you. I'll Chicago. tell you one thing. Like I left for a year, and home. guess who was giving me a call? Like every fucking Friday to make sure that I was doing okay. The guy yeah, in the yeah. middle of the top. Like he's always been he's always had my back pretty much. Aww. Are we gonna get into like an emotional thing? Right We're gonna now? start crying Aww. here. Anyways, all right. So yeah, tonight, guys. We'll do a Blood Brothers uh, Blood Brothers night next week. So we'll just do random Blood Brothers. So ooh. All right, finish ooh. the comments. Okay, so Lee Russell says, in case you forget. Uh, so I go Redbeard's beer. Cheers, Raider. Uh, if you have access to GLB Conduct, you should review it. Yeah, you know, I, I, I would like. I've, uh, I've never, I've never heard of this beer. Yeah, I would like yeah. to. We we have reviewed uh, Conduct, but we do have like our reanalysis. I would mm -hmm. like to see GLB Conduct show up here again, and I would pick up a can and totally do a reanalysis. Wait, could. that's the one that Greg shipped us, wasn't it? Like forever ago back. He was that the one did, you? did you send us I all a Canuck for one year? Greg, Greg, Greg never sent a Canuck. I, I, don't know why, I don't know why I'd have to. You can get Canuck everywhere. Yeah, yeah, Canucks yeah, all over the place. 
I think he said a GLB beer of oh, sorts. Oh, I, I'm sure I said something. GLB, oh, there was some. Yeah, was a beer to Zeus or something? Or yeah, he sent one of those, I believe. Or Greg, 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 Greg sent several GLB yeah. beers. Greg's a beer person who sends us beer. He's a good guy. That that that's that's what I put on my. Greg's resume. a good guy. I'm a, I'm a beer person who sends people beer. So Craig's a good guy. He sent me beer today. Beer. Uh, Lee Russell, uh, go for Lee's. Nice. We'll Sad, Sad wizard swill in case we have a tie. That's a shock. Uh, Vincent Fournier, since uh, Radar says you can pull down, pull it down all the way though. The hell? Uh, sure. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, uh, I was talking about the titties. Uh, Lee's beer gets woke score adjustments. Is it an 8.5? <laughs> it makes it even more magical. That's not, that's not bad. Uh, Bubba Sadie says, "How is the juicy ass?" I'm afraid to try anything new, Ontario. After working there, I'm yeah. not sure if you're thinking. I'm. I'm not drinking the big and juicy. Whatever. This is like the flying monkeys. Because no, I'm. I'm, I'm with you. I, I. I. I want them to be awesome. I want like they're kind of the OG North Bay craft brewery at this point. They suck harder than a flow back And beer. like that they're, they're, it's not that. It's just they're so fucking inconsistent. Yeah. And they've now got they they opened up like the pizza shop in their place and it's, it's the most more to, to to quote uh Scott from earlier, it's the most mid pizza in the goddamn world. Like it's and they even use like you know the little pepperonis like the, the pepperoni that like when you cook it it like becomes like it turns into a little cup the good awesome little pepperonis but it, oh, yeah. it, it's just it's it just it's the most bland meh fuck it and and one of the best pizza places in town dr pizza, now I want pizza. is literally yeah, like right is right there like in the same plaza but they went with this fucking grecos for reasons i don't understand yeah. it's very weird now now I want pizza. Pizza. did nick do a face turn i have no idea who's talking uh, face is a good guy where a heel is a bad guy. That's like, oh, all right. Did you yeah, turn from bad guy to good guy? I don't know. It was because I was talking about how you called me every every week uh, in Calgary. I don't know. Well, I don't you're know. both you're both heels, right? <laughs> you're a heel. I know I'm a heel. God I'm says he knew you would get it. Years. <laughs> All right, it's a wrestling term. I don't watch the uh, that kind of stuff. The referee is the the referee. I, 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 wa the I watch the refereeing Scott does, so he, because I get to see him get smacked. <laughs> Do you want a story yeah. before we go? Sure. I, like so, I was in Northern Maine this past weekend, yeah. and they did a hardcore match. And what they did was they taped caps around a plastic baseball bat, and then they and then the final was. The guy would take the baseball bat and hit him, hit the other guy over the back, and the cap would explode. Well, the cap shot off and hit me right in the eye. Oh, right. Yeah. And I went down like a like I'm like oh my god my eye right. And then the, the you know the guy covered him like one two three ring the bell and I put up the X, which is secret term for someone's injured. And the the boys in the back were like who's injured who's injured oh shit it's Scott. And I was the only ref that that show, so I had the ref like two more matches afterwards. Anyway, I ended up doing it. And my my eye was a little blurry, but anyway, yeah, at least you didn't get permanently hurt or nothing. No, well, no, no, and they gave me a couple extra bucks. He says, "What kind of much shows are you working now, Scott?" Oh, it was it was a backyard again. Wrestle backyard again. It had uh, the only person on it was. Uh, Oh, who is the name? Uh, Rene Dupree of Love Resistance from WWE. He was on the show. All of seventy people were in the in the audience. Seventy, yeah. you had seventy people show. Yikes! All right, I guess we'll we'll finish that. We'll take this offline. Um, I want to thank everybody who's watching. Bubba Cs, uh, Jimmy C, if you're still there, Radar Lee. Uh, Marcin, you're oh. hanging out. That's cool to talk to you again. And Chris, we'll talk to you folks later. Cheers. Excellent, excellent. Uh, bye. Bye. Chris Peters killed the one choice. Ah, uh, the, the 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 pickle.